All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. You want some food? You want some food? Welcome back to my first official Georgia vlog, I feel like. So, woke up, did all the things, and I went to my first solid core class in Georgia. I went to the Dunwoody location, which I really like that one. I think I'm just going to go to that one if I can. Um, I haven't tried the other two, but, you know, um, I you guys will have to tell me which one is the best if you live here. But I liked that one, and the parking lot for that one was so easy. No parking garage or anything, which is why I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go to that one. And I liked the area. And now I'm at Trader Joe's. I'm stopping by Trader Joe's on the way home because it was on the way home. Or it is on the way home, kind of. And, yeah, I'm just, you know, having a good time, having a day. So, you know what I just realized? I really hope my wallet is in here. Okay. She was playing with my wallet last night. Couldn't remember where I put it. So, anyways. I'm headed to Trader Joe's on my way home. Sun's going down for her nap right now. Sun's out today, thank goodness. It was just gloomy the first couple days here, so I was like, ugh. Now I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, welcome back to the vlog. We'll see what we get into. Probably more unpacking, more decorating, like more putting the place together. And our internet comes today. Thank God, we've been without internet and it's been hard. Being without internet is really hard. And then also, um, I think I have a couple more things delivering today, so we'll see, I don't know. Let's go into Trader Joe's and test it out, feel it out. I had a very good experience at Trader Joe's. I like that Trader Joe's. It's totally backwards though. I'm freezing. Why is it so cold here? It's totally backwards from the one in Charlotte that I went to. I used to go to the one in um off in Stonecrest. Off Stonecrest. Ray Road. Ray Road's the one at Ray Road. Sorry. Hold on. Can I get a venti brown sugar shake and espresso? And then also can I get a spinach feta wrap please? Did I tell you guys I'm at Starbucks in Marietta Square. We live so close to Marietta Square. It's so nice. I'm so happy about that. Apparently, Seth took a like, 30 minute nap. You getting adjusted to the new place too. Okay, so I've got my Trader Joe's. I just got myself flowers, cause you know, they had the flowers. The flowers at Publix were like 22 bucks down the street. So I got us flowers for Valentine's Day. Is that okay with you? They're red and they're pink. I thought they'd be cute. You like that? So yeah, I'm excited to get one of our vases out and put those in there. Um, let me unpack all this stuff and then I'll just give you guys an overview. Okay, so I'm gonna make more of those breakfast sandwiches. So I got English muffins, zucchini and squash. Um, these are for Sutton. We got some for us at the grocery store yesterday and then I got more for her. Blueberries, all of her fruit pouches, yogurt for her, ground turkey and ground chicken for her. Um, goat cheese, these little hash browns. I thought it would be fun for her for breakfast. This is for me and Colin. Tomatoes, peas, spinach, basil, eggs, lemon, sun-dried tomatoes. Sourdough, peanut butter, avocados, I think I said spinach. So yeah, just a little, little haul. I'm gonna put all this stuff away, put our flowers in a vase, and then I gotta send some work in really quick. Excuse me, buddy. Look up, 
days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know have been working on you know putting things away it's a slow process but look at the curtains back there those got hung um Colin's on a business call right now I need a four o'clock call um I put Sutton down for a nap and it took forever to get her to fall asleep she's just like so out of her element because it's like a new place um so that's been a little bit of a struggle hung up those two I'm not doing curtains in there because the window is like a bay window, so it's like a little weird. Um, so yeah, no curtains in there, but he did that. I put one of the mirrors in the corner right here for now, and then I put the other one in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I think those curtains over there just look so good. So slowly but surely, we just still have such a mess. Also, I'm probably about to make myself a late lunch. I got some things off of Amazon, um, two books for Sutton for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so I'm gonna make her, I did end up deciding I'm gonna make her a little basket. I had to. And then, um, also I got these renter-friendly knobs. I'm going to switch out the knobs in the kitchen to these black ones, and then eventually do like the white marble contact paper over the counters, um, cause I just think that would look so much better. And I was following this girl who tested out a bunch of renter-friendly contact paper that doesn't mess up the counters. And she literally tells you specifically which one to buy and which one's the best. And then the reviews say good things. So I'll link um, those below whenever I get it. So yeah, I got that from Amazon. And then also I got the vacuum mop thing from Tinico. I'm so excited about it. And it's just going to be like we have so much more hardwood floors and so much more to clean here. So I think it's just going to be... A1, it came, it's downstairs, and I'm so excited because I've been waiting for that to come before we set up her playroom downstairs because um, we ran out of Swiffer wet jet pads for that room, so I need to just completely mop the floor, and then we're going to set up her playroom at some point, and I'm starving. I'm going to make myself lunch really quick. I don't know what I'm going to make, though. Okay, the internet man just came. He's actually, like, so nice. We like him, but um, I did strawberries and then avocado toast with scrambled eggs. It was supposed to be a fried egg, however, it messed up, so we went scrambled. I wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'm sure you guys know by now, but I love working with Squarespace. They are, in my opinion, the best platform you can use to create a website for yourself. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. There are so many templates you can choose from so you can stand out with a beautiful website, and then also you can engage with your audience and you can sell anything. Content you create, your time, products, Squarespace has it all. They have simplified it, made it super easy for you to use and not only make it look amazing and professional, but also have a fun and enjoyable experience making it, which is why they are the leader in website design. I made my website through Squarespace and I love it, I'm proud of it, and I'm always updating it. Something that I really like about Squarespace is their analytics. So you can understand your site's performance and you can gain powerful insights into who's visiting your site and how they're interacting with your content with their in-depth analytics tools. So you can kind of check out the traffic and trends and learn where your website, um, and so you can kind of check out the traffic and trends and learn 
where your website traffic is coming from and what those visitors are looking for and how they're interacting with your content or products. Like I said, you can sell your services online so you can create a website that helps you and your business attract new customers and allow them to book your services so they can schedule appointments with online booking and calendars. They can see your availability and easily book one of your services. And what's cool is you can send reminders so they will automatically receive a reminder so you never have your clients miss an appointment. And then something that is really cool is that you can sell your content with a membership site. You can turn your content and expertise into income. So you can sell membership access to online courses and classes, videos, paid newsletters, communities, and more. You can build a whole community and then you can also have like paid newsletters. Number areas is just kind of what would take your content to the next level. And it's like a, like more subscription based content, which is really cool and something to really think about. Basically what's great about Squarespace is it's completely customizable to you. You can do whatever you want with it. You can make it look the way you want. You can sell things the way you want. Book your services or book anything the way that you want. It's all for you and they've created their website design tools to help you out and to make it as easy for you as possible. So I just cannot recommend enough and if you guys go to squarespace.com you can actually do their free trial so you can see for free all the things I'm telling you guys about. And then when you're ready to launch your website or your domain you can go to squarespace.com slash Bianca Henderson and that'll get you guys 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Squarespace is an extremely good option when deciding to build and create a website for yourself. I'm so happy to be working with them and I'll have my link in the description box for you guys to click. Go check it out and thank you as always Squarespace for sponsoring this video. It's been a hot minute since I have vlogged because I lost my vlog camera. Now I found it. Um, I'm in the middle of uh, blow drying my hair so I figured I'd show you guys my new technique. Also, look what came. It's my vacuum mop. Also, we're currently standing in Sutton's playroom that's getting a rehaul, overhaul, you whatever you haul <laughs> in this vlog. But let me go show you my new blow dry technique. You like a rough blow dry? I flip and I've been using the round brush attachment. Then I just take this. But I do everything towards my head. I just make sure my hair is like 90% dry. Also, my pajamas are from Victoria's Secret. I've seen so many people with these on. Um, I ordered them like way in advance and I got, I'm wearing a medium long and they fit so good. They fit like perfectly oversized and everything. So, um, and then Sutton has her little Valentine's Day pajamas from Caden Lane that came today. Um, I was gonna put her in tight baby for tomorrow, but then I saw the Caden Lane ones and they match me better. So she's gonna wear those. I'll show you tomorrow, obviously. Um, and I got a little heart waffle maker. For her breakfast tomorrow, I'm going to make her almond flour um, waffles. And I'm so excited. So anyways, I'm going to keep doing my hair because I actually kind of need to hurry up so I can like eat dinner and get ready, um, get her ready for bed. Just finished my hair. Dinner's ready too, so I got to show you guys this quick. But okay, I could actually go over this side a little bit. Here's what it ends up looking like though. It's just nice and voluminous. Yeah, no, let me go over this part real quick. looking so good I'm actually obsessed with the shark now that I've like really learned how to use it unfortunately I'm gonna mess it up tomorrow when I go work out but it is what it is here's her PJs they're so cute from Kate and Lane. They're a little big, but adorable. Before I start pumping, I was just making Sutton's little Valentine's Day basket. And I definitely am gonna put it over here by the flowers. 
Okay, here's the setup, here's the situation. We've got a little bear, some books for Valentine's Day, her little waffle maker for tomorrow that makes heart waffles, and some pink little juice pouches. And that's her little basket. I actually think that the baby's breath is like totally throwing off the vibe. That's for tomorrow morning. So cute. Colin's playing video games tonight. And I just pumped. And I watched Leap Year. That's like one of my favorite rom-coms ever. It's on Netflix um, right now if you want to watch it. With Amy Adams. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with that movie. I've loved that movie for years since it came out. And it never gets old to me. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Good morning. Good morning. What are we gonna get to you for Valentine's Day? Look at your little. Oh my goodness. That's so sweet. Here, do you want to get them out? What did you get? Juice pouches? Oh my goodness. Do you like your little bear? You see your little bear? What's this? Can you lift up? I'm gonna make you some waffles. Do you want some waffles for breakfast? Is it good? Is it yummy? Do you like it? <gasps> Is it good? Is that a no for that one? <laughs> you looking for it? You looking for it? You got some more up here you can use. Strawberry for the first time. Do you like it? Oh, you can start recording now. Here's Collins. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Yeah, love you. Made my favorite breakfast. Now I'm gonna go try out the orange theory that's like down the road. Oh my god. Some underwear just fell out of my shirt. <laughs> That's what happens when you live from a bag. Colin made me some pre-workout and then I need to go right now. Yeah, I'm back from Orange Theory and it was probably one of the hardest classes ever of working out at Orange Theory. Besides the dry try, it was just like straight cardio. It was rough. And then I fed set. Now she's going down for you. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I learned Talk 
for hours I never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know So it took an hour and almost took like 15 minute nap. So that's good. And then I just made her a little snack. I'm gonna go clean up while she eats though. What do you think? We gotta get some more things in here, but like your toys. Where are your toys? I think we're gonna hang that up on the wall. Murph! She hasn't even seen that yet. We've had that for a while. Um, they sent it to us from Lalo or Lalo um, with their collaboration with West Elm. And we just had nowhere for it to go, so I just set it up and it's so cute. Here, do you wanna sit? Oh my goodness, and look, we'll push you in. We'll push you in, there you go. Is that, your, your outfit's a little big, huh? Are you sitting at the table? You're sitting at a table. It's a certain size table. And do you want to get down? Valentine's Day, din din. This grief has a gravity. I put set butt to bed and it's 8.56. I'm probably going to start my pump at like 9.30, but I've been in here doing the knobs finally. And I just had to show you guys, like, first of all, it's so easy and such an inexpensive renter friendly thing to do. Now, I definitely want to do the countertops, like the marble contact paper, but look at the knobs because I didn't do them all yet. I just wanted to show you guys and then show you how I did them. Look at the difference already versus that. It already looks so much better. I'm debating on if I want to do those knobs too. Just twist. Twist it on there like this till it's nice and tight, and that's it. So simple. This cabinet's kind of wonky, but yeah. So easy. I'm gonna do the rest. Okay, now all the knobs are on. So good. Also, Colin's parents got us a cookie cake. Um, so we're gonna eat the cookie cake. Colin got a butt set this morning and I slept in because she did not sleep with last night. And also I was so hot last night and I was just so exhausted. My body hurt. I was gonna work out today. I'm just taking today off. So I just made my dreams and I'm also pumping with my LV because we're running into this issue which has become an issue within the last week where Sutton is biting me and it hurts. And so I try to breastfeed her and she's either in two mindsets, breastfeed like normal or bite mom because it's funny. Because she'll literally look at me, like if she goes down to breastfeed, she'll look at me like, ha ha ha, like I'm gonna bite you. And then she'll start laughing. And then I'll like try to breastfeed her and then she like <laughs> goes, like she's gonna bite me and then she starts to bite down and I'm like no like that hurts mommy and then she starts laughing so I'm just pumping to keep the breastfeeding going but then there's other times where she'll breastfeed and it's completely normal so anyways good morning that's where I'm at right now um I'm drinking my greens I did bloom greens today the mango flavor good really good it's raining today Colin's downstairs working on our entryway table so for Valentine's Day let me show you what he got me for Actually. Um, what we planned on getting each other was the washer and dryer and so and like cards and stuff but then yesterday he came home with two Colleen Hoover books which he didn't know that I've already read but I have but it's okay because I read them on my Kindle and I like to have the actual books to see that I've read them 
So he got me Heartbones and It Starts With Us, which is totally fun. I'm happy to have the physical copies of them, especially because I can pass them along to a family member or something. I'm cutting set in. Um, and then he got me these cute candles, which like candle holders, which now I want to go get candles for today. And then I was so surprised because I thought we just got each other a washer and dryer because it was like fifteen hundred dollars. Look at how cute these are. He picked them out. Oh, this is shelf. Probably aren't gonna see me until after the work is done because I need to get done and pay attention to her at the same time. Colin's both my table, so yeah. Oh, set. She keeps throwing her snack cup. I just made the breakfast sandwich. Oh, hey. thank you. You're welcome. Took a minute. Here's Sutton's. Oh, wow. Deconstructed breakfast sandwich. Mmm. Before I end the vlog, I wanted to give you guys an update because I haven't showed the guest bedroom or Sutton's room in a hot minute. So here's the guest bedroom. Currently, it's my last thing to do. And then Sutton's gonna be next on the to-do list once I finish my closet. So, yeah. It's a mess, but that's the room right now. Real quick before I end the vlog. Um, 11 Eleven reached out. They have those cute candles with um, the shoe, like the shoe candles. So let me show you guys. Okay, 11 Eleven sent me their newest sweatshirt from their drop, and it's so cute. And I'm excited to show you guys because it just came. Front says 11 Eleven Health and Social Club with this martini glass. Is that so cute or what? So here's the front. Also, this is such a good, thick, quality sweatshirt. Wow. And then I'm about to put it on. <gasps> Sutton, uh-uh. She's on my computer. Here's the back. Same thing. Let me go put it on. Okay, I just put it on. I'm obsessed because it's one of those sweatshirts that has like the loose bottom. I better go get her. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. Okay, now I'm gonna end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys. She's looking at herself in the mirror. We'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye. Bye.